today's news, Big Bang's top to complete mandatory service as a public service worker. We have excellent news in the case involving top that it looks like there's some closure happening. I wanna read the entire article just for clarity's purposes. Clarity's purposes? Clarity? Oh. The purpose of clarity. After being deemed unfit to return to service as a conscripted policeman on July 31st, Big Bang's top has officially been assigned reservist status by the Ministry of National Defense and is being transferred from the police department today, August 28th, to finish the remainder of his mandatory service as a public service worker. Generally, those assigned reserve status complete mandatory service as a public service worker. According to police, Top will be serving under the supervision of the Military Manpower Administration in the jurisdiction of his residence. The time that Top had been dismissed from duty for the duration of his prosecution will not count toward his total service. However, the beginning service that he already completed with will count towards his two years or 22 months or whatever the full amount is that they have to complete. So he doesn't have to re-enlist and start from scratch. That's what essentially this means. Yay! So that still leaves a lot of questions like what is a reservist? What do they do? What exactly does a public service worker do? What does that job look like in Korea? And also, when is Top getting out? To generally answer your question, he's getting out in about 20 months. I mean, how much time did he serve before this whole thing went down? He served at least a month or a month and a half, something like that? He served about three months because he enlisted on February 9th, and this all came out at the end of May. However, public service workers, they serve from 24 to 36 months. Really? Because, well, because depending upon what your job is in the military, what you do during your enlistment time, you have a different time period within said service. For example, if you are in the Army or Marines, you only have to serve 21 months. If you're in the Navy, it's 23. Air Force is 24 and public service is 24 to 36. What he will be doing probably is desk warming. Like he's gonna have an assignment, a location that he has to show up at at 9 a.m. in the morning and he has to stay there until 6 p.m. Most likely, I mean, that's been my experience speaking with a lot of guys that had to go through this. Those of them that had office jobs literally have a computer not connected to the internet in front of them <laughs> and they have to sit there without a phone and no book, like nothing. You have a, you have some task that you have to do, but it's literally like filling in little columns on a piece of paper or something really easy. And that's it. You have to fill your time up with nothing. No, I'm, I'm being absolutely serious. This is literally 90 something percent of all the guys there have no internet access, not allowed to use your phone and almost literally no responsibility because North Korea is not attacking. Like there's no attack, there's no war going on. They have to train themselves, but if you have a desk job, then you don't, there's nothing to train for. The most common jobs for public service workers are working at some sort of city hall, for example, doing a desk warming job, working at the subway for a desk warming job, working at a factory or some other type of clerical position. Exactly what you're saying sitting at a desk doing basic clerical tasks, being the most boring secretary that you possibly can be. However, they get to go home in the evening and they get to go back to their house. And I do believe if they are in the reserves that they have to go and do military exercises occasionally right. for a weekend, but it's nothing that's too strenuous or difficult. And he gets his weekends with his family or at least in his private residence, so he has that free time too. He can't really go out. He's gotta keep a low profile until the military's done, clearly for the reasons we all know about. But he doesn't have to re-enlist. I was really fearful that he was gonna have to do another three years on top with something else and be stationed far away and they were gonna put him in a place where he couldn't cause any trouble. Like Rain, for instance, had to go somewhere far away and then right before he got out, he got in a little bit of trouble. I can't remember what happened, but it's because there was nothing going on where he was. He was totally bored off his ass. No, but he gets to stay in Seoul. He gets to stay in Seoul, he gets to stay in Gangnam in his local neighborhood. He doesn't actually even have to go far away. So this is actually just a little bit of a slap on the wrist. Now, mind you, he can't go into the police service. I'm just glad that he is not being dishonorably discharged because yep. I thought that was going to happen, which would look really bad on his personal records long term 
beyond Big Bang and after Big Bang is no longer as big, bangable popularity as it is, this is going to serve him well long into the future. And I've been also concerned about him doing military service with mental illnesses like depression. You know, if he gets to go home at the end of the day and he's just working at like a nine to five job essentially, it's not too bad. This is wonderful news. In the moment that I saw it, I thought, oh good, I had a sigh of relief because I don't want him to have to do any more time. And he's already been punished. Like just having to go through the limelight with all of this crap is punishment enough. This was the court extending an olive branch saying, we want things to be okay for you now. We understand it was really minor offense, even though we have these strict laws in Korea. So here you go, you get to keep your status and you're not gonna be dishonorably discharged and you get to stay where you live. These, this is a gift, really, even it, though he got had a lot of trouble. It's totally a gift, and we've been wanting to talk about Top for a very long time and make more videos. It's been a while since we've been able to give you guys some good news, and that is what this is. It's news we can roll with. What was your reaction when you heard this news about Top not having to re-enlist? I don't know if you followed it carefully or if you know the rules of Korea military enlistment, mandatory enlistment for all the men, but for me, having been there and seen a lot of guys go through this, this is great news. I'm really happy about it. Comment, you guys. Are you happy? Are you, do you think that this was too easy on Top? What are your thoughts? What are your feels? Are you listening to White Knight, Taeyang's new album? What are your thoughts? Steph is. Comment, you guys. Click the like button. Thank you for supporting us. Click the bell for notifications. Check out the link to K-Gallon. Don't forget to subscribe for more Hollywood back news. That's it. We're out of here. Hasta luego. Bye.